Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. In this video, we will show you how to retrieve data from your Garmin GPS device and submit the track data to Tracks for Africa website. But first, let's start at the beginning of the process of recording the track out in the field. Perhaps you want to record a hiking trail or a section of technical 4x4 trail that's not on the latest version of Tracks for Africa GPS maps. It's important that your GPS is set up correctly to record the data as accurately as possible. When driving in a vehicle, for optimal satellite view, it's suggested that the GPS is mounted on the windscreen. The entire process has four main steps. Step one, setting up your GPS. Step two, recording the tracks. Step three, downloading the tracks from your device to your PC or Mac. And step four, submitting the data to Tracks for Africa. For guidelines on what Tracks for Africa is looking for, visit our website. Under the Submit Data tab, scroll down to Ways to Submit Data. Then browse through the information on how to collect and submit data tracks and waypoints. If you do not have a GPS, you can also use the new Points of Interest Data Capture app by downloading it onto your mobile phone. Please also read the user guide for a complete understanding of the app. Let's start by reviewing the settings on your Garmin GPS before heading out to record the track. Let's go into the main setup menu. This will be slightly different from model to model. In some Garmin models like the Montana 680, you can add shortcuts to the main menu like track log on and track log off. This is great for when you want to start and stop recording. Select the main menu, then select Setup, then scroll down and select Routing. Set the lock on road to off or no position. The reason it's important to have this switched off is if it's set to lock on road and you're recording in an area close to an existing road, the GPS will continuously lock onto the nearest road instead of recording the actual track you're on. Now select your activity. Whether you're automobile driving, motorcycle, or perhaps you're recording a hiking trail or mountain biking trail. In this case, I'm about to record a mountain biking trail. Now select tracks and then set the record method to auto and set the interval to most often. In the advanced setup, set the archive to daily. Never save the current track yourself as it's only about 10% of the recorded points that are saved in this way. Select the main system setup and set the satellite system to GPS mode. You're now ready to record the trail or road section. When recording a trail or road section, try to also record waypoints such as the start and end of the trail, points of interest like unusual rock features, locked gates, bridges, viewpoints, rivers, and anything of interest or value to submit with a track log. Something else that's important to remember is to actually record waypoints and points of interest along the way. If, for instance, you're driving on a new section of road that you know is not on Tracks for Africa and you'd like to submit it, be sure that whenever you get to cattle grids or when you get to farm gates that you've got to open and close, go to the waypoint and mark the actual waypoint itself. Edit, title a waypoint, exactly what it is, farm gate or locked gate or cattle grid, or maybe it's Bushman paintings or something. Actually make a waypoint at that particular place, title the waypoint and save it so that those waypoints can also be submitted as well. That makes a big difference instead of just recording a 20 or 30 kilometer gravel road or hiking trail, but there's no features on it. So when you are out there recording, make sure you record the waypoints and points of interest along the way, anything that can help update the Tracks of Africa map sets. I'm standing at the beginning of uh, one of the new mountain bike trails here at Traveler's Rest. Um, this is the red route I believe it. These routes have not been recorded on Tracks for Africa yet so um, what I'm doing this morning is um, I've got the little Garmin e 20 series, the handheld um, and the traditional mountain bike cup which basically is this Garmin 800. <laughs> Thank you. 
Once you have completed the trail, you can now connect your Garmin to your PC or Mac and transfer the data. There are two ways of submitting data to Tracks for Africa. Either upload the data to the Tracks for Africa website, or simply email the recorded track log and all associated waypoints to newdata at tracksforafrica.co.za with the full description and any interesting facts. Let's take a look at how to extract and upload the data to the Tracks for Africa website. Connect your Garmin device to your PC or Mac using a dedicated USB data cable, similar to what Garmin supply. If it's not the correct cable, your PC or Mac may not be able to read the device. Once connected, open the Garmin program called Basecamp and import the file. Inside your device's folders, go to the Garmin folder. Then the recorded tracks may be found under Activities or in the GPX folder depending on your device. Once you have successfully imported the track into Basecamp, give it a suitable name. Now let's save the track by exporting it to your chosen folder. In this case, let's export the highlighted section, which is just the track we've recorded. Be sure to export the file as a GPX file format. Now close down Basecamp and let's upload the track onto the Tracks for Africa website. Select and scroll to Submit Data. If you are not yet registered on the Tracks for Africa website, you can do so at this point. Then log in and come back to the Submit Data page. Once logged in to the new data submission page, you can upload your recorded track and add the name and a comprehensive description. Once the file is uploaded, click Submit to complete the process. You will then receive a confirmation email from the Tracks for Africa data submission team. In time, the data will be processed and added to the next edition of Tracks for Africa GPS Maps.